Hey everyone, I'm a product designer at Goalie. We make apps that help kids with autism or any kind of speech delay, it doesn't have to be autism related, learn how to communicate. We try to teach them, especially those first 50 words, but sometimes we keep going for a lot longer than that. So if you have a kid that is speech delayed, we wanna deliver some wins to them quickly. They need to see when I practice, when I do this thing that's uncomfortable for me, I get something that I want. And I see that adults respond to me in the way that I want them to respond. So how do we do that? Well, we start with the basics. We can start with something like yes or no. So instead of saying, what do you wanna drink and expect them to answer milk or water? Instead, what you present is, do you wanna drink milk? And we can point to milk and then we can give them a visual representation of yes or no. Now a visual representation could literally be a card or it could be like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And then when they select the thumbs up, we're gonna reinforce what this means, right? We're gonna connect this visual gesture to an auditory gesture that comes out of my mouth. So I say, do you wanna drink milk? Yes or no? Child selects yes and I wanna immediately reward that, yes! Yes, you do want to drink milk. All right, I'm going to go get the milk because you said yes. You hear how I'm repeating it and I'm reinforcing that I'm doing what the child wants me to do because they said yes, and I'm giving them a visual support as I go. So again, this can be physical gestures that you know a kid can see, or it can literally be printed cards. Now, let me tell you how that connects to our best app for teaching core words. Core words are really that first 50, 60 words that someone learns to communicate with so that even if you're in Japan and you learn the first 50 Japanese core words, you can probably navigate your way through the world and mostly get what you want. You can't have a complex dialogue with someone, but you can say, I gotta, I gotta go that way, I gotta go. And you can point to the bathroom when you need to go to the bathroom. So those are core words. We have an app called Word Lab. We have a penguin character named Penny and Penny needs kids to help her assemble these word blocks. She goes through video lessons and then kids will click on a visual of what that word means. So Penny's teaching them how to say the word, what the word means, and a visual representation of each of those words. As kids finish these lessons and they wrap them up, they can also use our Talker app to communicate outwards. So the Talker app can become their voice. So they don't necessarily need to use their throat they can click on buttons and Goalie will communicate as their voice. Now, there's some suspicions out there, some myths really, of well, if my kid can get what they want using a talker, uh, will they just never use their voice? And actually, there's a whole boatload of science that says the exact opposite. The more kids see that communicating gets them what they want, they wanna to start to try to communicate themselves. So talker apps are really known to accelerate and catalyze a child's development of language skills. If you want to learn more about Goalie's language apps, go to getgoalie.com or click on the link below.